Hello, Steve White, Steve Out 39. Well, the plot thickens with the block. Um, I just saw an article, and it did come out a few hours ago. Um, Ronnie and Georgia are claiming that they actually saw the, um, the, the picture in the first week, and that they went to the producers five minutes after seeing it and told them. But the producers didn't do anything. The producers allowed it to stay in circulation and allowed some members of the block... Uh, two or three couples. Um, it's a little bit unclear because I don't think these guys actually used it. They saw it, they reported it, they didn't actually record it and didn't use it. But the other couple, um, there were two couples, actually did. Um, the girl with the purple hair looked at it a little bit, saw some of it but then deleted it. And the, the twins actually requested it, kept it and utilised it for three weeks and cheated for three weeks. So the other couple knew, Ronnie and Georgia knew, that the other couples were cheating. And that's why they eventually lost it and, re and said on camera, because apparently they reported it off camera because they didn't want to be involved in any drama. And that's why they reported it on camera, because they were aware of the fact that they were being scammed, they were being cheated. These other, this other couple was cheating and they were possibly losing and potentially losing this, this game um, because of these people cheating. So the producers knew, and they just sat on it for the drama. And they allowed it to happen. They allowed it to keep happening. They allowed members of the cast to cheat for the potential drama of exposing it later on. When they were going to expose it, who knows? Were they going to wait the last week? And it's like, oh my God, you know, they've... They've won, but they, they cheated and blah, blah, blah. Or were they actually going to do it at some other strategic point? Or were they just waiting to see when people would say something? Um, it seems like a lot of games, a lot of drama. Um, it's, it's, as Scotty Cam might say, un-Australian. And he's struggling to, um, scrambling, um, he describes it, to actually save the show, save the show's reputation. Because the just the... Well, not all of them, but several of them are cheaters. And the producers allowed this to happen because they wanted the drama and the ratings and they care more about that than the actual show itself. So I'm a little shocked, honestly. Um, especially since the, the, the gay couple and um, the other couple, I've forgotten their names. So there's one straight couple and one gay couple who didn't know it was happening. There was the per girl with the purple hair and Ronnie and Georgia and the twins they all knew about it, but only one of them really took advantage of it. The the the, um, the the twins actually actively used it to cheat. So I'm kind of surprised that they allowed these two couples to be cheated on this whole time without knowing it, because I'm guessing there could be some recourse for this. If this is if this is money and um, business involved in this, surely they can sue. So it looks like it's going to be a big mess. Um, and I just I'm really shocked. I, I, I hear that the show hasn't been rating as well and maybe they just grabbed onto this stunt sort of as luck like you know we should take advantage of this opportunity and um work this drama but other people are suggesting i'm not sure if it was uh, ronnie and jordan i read a couple of interviews or if it was the purple head girl because she's claiming she was set up because um maybe it was sent to her but she's also they're also saying that this room that had the um, the board in it was next to the toilets and it wasn't locked and that plenty of people actually saw it and they felt maybe it was left open as a setup to test to see if someone would steal it and if it's some sort of reality show, you know, um, game within itself, within the show. So it's all, because this is not the kind of thing you would expect from the block. The block my understanding was it was all very simple. It was an actual reality competition show, not a reality drama show where people are just making things up for the sake of drama and there's all these staged and set up and planned um, scenarios that people sort of create or feed into. Because um, we know in reality shows there's real you know, stories. Like I was just watching um, The Real Housewives New York, not New York, New Jersey the other day, and one of the parents... Um, of one of the main cast members died and that caused a lot of issues within the family and I do not believe for a second any of that was staged or scripted. I don't believe they took advantage of any of that. That was all just happening on its own. So sometimes things really do happen in reality shows and then they either just show it 
or showcase it or sometimes use it, but they don't often exploit it like that. Whereas this show, which is supposed to be a game show, is supposed to be very basic and, um, I don't know, traditional and, you know, respectable on some level, has apparently turned into um, a reality drama um, farce, I guess. And I, I, I'm thinking it might be the end of the show because I don't see how anyone's going to take this show seriously anymore, how anyone's going to respect it, how any of the viewers are going to watch it, because the viewers are already complaining that it's sort of lost its edge, so they're basically just, people are just basically painting and shopping, and it's not what it used to be. I only watched one season, so I'm not sure about that, but um, I'm kind of surprised at this, and I'm kind of disappointed, but um, I don't know what's going to happen, I'm just going to leave it there. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Bye.